Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wokey, here by myself once again, uh, with some Dragalia Lost. It's been a very long time since I last recorded anything with Dragalia Lost, but I need to record something because I like to, you know, just record stuff. So why I figure why not show off some of the, some Void stuff, and by Void stuff I mean I'm just gonna beat up Frost Hermit a whole bunch, and I'll be the host for this one. There we go. No, no, greater room. There we go. Uh, for those of you who have never fought Frost Hermit, he is a boss that continuously, when you break him, he makes copies of himself over and over and over again. He makes four, and then if you break him again, he makes four. Four again. And I assume he just does that infinite until you beat him. Now, you can try... I'm just going to start this match. Come on, let's fucking go already. There we go. Good, good. Good, Ranzel. Um, you're about to see him. He's actually a pretty fast fight, pretty easy fight, but let's, let's farm him up. You need to do it for the quests that are in Dragalia at the moment, which I would suggest if you're starting up Dragalia, you should do these quests if you can. This one is definitely one of the easier ones, and a lot of the stuff in the shop is really good. All right, so here's the fight. Here's this big giant frost giant. Frost Tournament, I guess, technically speaking, whatever. And we got disconnected, but it's fine because I'm the host. I disconnected from them, so that's good. That means that now those two dumbasses are RCP players, and that's it's not good. It shouldn't be too bad, though. I just need to not be stupid. Damn it. Fucking hate the targeting sometimes. Stop targeting the wrong fucking guy. God damn it. There we go. Are you seriously just gonna... Whatever, it's over. He's dead. Stupid targeting. Sometimes the targeting in Dragalia really pisses me off. It's only... It's worse with archers, but sometimes... Um, wand users suffer from it too, where like you try to target something and it just doesn't work out. Also, I actually brought in my dude. Okay, let's go again. Again, need to farm him up a whole bunch. That guy left me behind. So he was like, I don't want to deal with this guy. A shitty team. Fair enough, so now we just wait. Do the long waiting game. Hello, Leon. We got a Ranzel coming in. We got a... I mean, I could just go now, but I really feel like... If we wait a bit, we'll get one more person. There we go. And that works out perfectly fine for everyone. Everyone's favorite character, Maribel. I actually do love Maribel. She's really nice. Uh, she's a fun character to use because all her shit does a lot of stuff. She's a very nice little girl. So, there you go. That's all I got to say about Maribel. Now, let's see. Yeah. Again, start of this fight very basic. Beat him down. You know, some combo combos. Then he makes four. And now he's gonna freeze me. No, he's not actually. That's nice. He's gonna freeze me there though. Gotta get out of the fucking circle. That's bad. That's all bad. But that's fine though. Cause I'm gonna go dragon, so I'm gonna be safe for now. So the best way to figure out which one is which is that well, for one, he doesn't. He can be stunned, so... And was I attacking the wrong guy the entire time? Yes, I was. Uh, there we go. Killed him before I horribly died. Yeah, good job. Damn it, I should have given that a good job. Alright, let's keep on going. Yeah, these come back at least, what, once a month now, and... You really need to do those missions in order to get everything in the shop that you need. And getting stuff in the shop, very important. It's a lot of good stuff. I'll show stuff at the end and, you know, talk about some of the things that are good to get. Some of the things are good, you know, especially for if you're a starting player, stuff like that. I'm not the best when it comes to actually helping people start off with this game. I just play it very casually. Let's work hard together. But, you know. If someone wants help, I'll gladly help them. There we go. 
another one in. Let's go again. And this is really kind of the Dragalia loop, so to say. It's like doing it once, getting it done. Boss battles, boss battles, boss battles. All right, let's see. There we go. Slap him up a bit. Okay, there. Oh, really? You're gonna freeze me? No, he's not. I'm gonna drag him. Then I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. Go dragon. Super easy. Super clean. Really, it's hard for him to get past this stage if you have a team that knows what they're doing. And this way you only really see him probably go up to eight copies and either your team is doing bad and they're targeting the wrong guy or, you know, stuff like that. Let's keep going. So we've been able to do like what three battles in the scope of like five minutes, six minutes. Again, super quick fight, like unbelievably fast compared to like Agni, which is the new raid. That's just I don't think it's very fun. I was able to get some of the stuff out of it though, so I could stop playing it. All right, let's go in there. Hit him with all the- immediately get hit by his three little wand shits. Hit him right there. Hit him in the face. Boom. Go dragon. Super effective. Get Kick his ass. Pick the old man down. Exactly. Yeah. Really, any the good thing about this, especially if you're a beginner, is that it's pretty easy to do. All you need to really, you don't need to like build a weapon for it. A lot of these other uh, void quests are tough for newer people, and to be fair, older people as well, is that they don't understand that you need to build a weapon, so you don't end up doing any damage. And if you don't come in with the right weapon for certain void stuff, you're just useless. You're being useless to the entire team. And now we have to wait. Come on, Lenyu. Come on. Renick Toys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I guess not. Renick was done with our shit. Okay, there we go. Don't worry. Ready up, buddy. Nope. What? Let's rock. I don't know what was happening there. But yeah, let's get this last thing done and then I'll go inside the shop and show you what's up. Say so like, yo, this is good. This is good. This is good. A lot of this stuff is really good, to be fair. But whatever. Uh, okay. Slap him up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, with that. Uh, propagates. I'm gonna get frozen because I fucked up. No, I'm not. Perfect. I'm gonna go dragon. Everyone's gonna go dragon now. See, like perfect clockwork. Everyone's just working. So proud of everyone. So proud of these randos. Oh, the guy stunned him out of his dazed animation. His broken animation. Alright, that's good. Thank you everyone for joining me on this one. But let's quickly look at that shop. Now I was talking to them, not you guys. Okay, let's see. Let's go here. As Master Iayasu's attendant, I'm not. There we go. Shadow trade, void battles. Uh mana. When you're starting out super important. Ruby's less important. Oh, actually, hmm. I was gonna say, I don't think I need honey, but I'll come back to this later. Uh, but honey's good if you're starting. You know what? Hmm. Just quickly buy that honey. <laughs> honey's good for um, stamina and stuff. I actually lost a good amount of honey to um, the current double rates. Ethan Ashes are the co op stuff. Steel Bricks is for 
breaking uh it's for unbinding weapons that are four which is very good to help you with like the final stages of void quest stuff because it's a pain in the ass to do some stuff uh Demaculous crystal i believe is a thing that if you gather 10 you can unbind one weapon moonlight stone is for four dragons knight's testament is for weapon unbind is for when you get further weapons like getting higher up there same thing with champion's testimony Bronze Fafnir, Silver Fafnir, Gold Fafnir. I don't actually don't have Gold Fafnir. I'll buy Gold Fafnir real quick. There we go. And they're just dragons that like I think help with the gold intake. And you get little stories with them too, so it's good to have them around. They're not the best fighting units, but in terms of just grinding up rupees, they'll do you. Oh, the Aqua Slime statue. I actually kind of need this one, so I'm gonna buy it. Statues which help out on a lot of stuff and here we have you know materials so the thing i always end up buying first is the things that help you unbind because that's the stuff that gets you stronger quicker after that i would say if you're starting out go for mana and if you run out of money get rupees i think that's pretty clear though i think you guys got this so yeah that's uh it's me doing some dragalia stuff i like dragalia and the the FE8. As you can see here, I'm super fucking prepared for when Fire, Fire Emblem comes up. Those uh, banner changes, oof, good changes. More gotchas should do good changes, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, thank you for joining me for another video. I'll see you guys in the next gotcha video that I do, because when it's solo Wookiee time, that means it's time for some solo gotcha play.